How's it going everyone? It's Sam. We have a big week ahead and I'm going to keep this nice and short here for you because I'm heading back to the Bitcoin conference here in just a few minutes, but I want to cover kind of what's happening in the market, some big news, and again, the week ahead. So if you don't mind, hit subscribe underneath the video. If you haven't already, uh, turn on that bell notification so you know right when I post future videos. And if you want to join the Patreon, there's actually a pretty small cryptocurrency under $100 million market cap that I have bought five figures of recently. So if you wanna know what that is, you can check out the Patreon. This is the first big buy that I've made uh, outside of Bitcoin in a long time. So again, if you wanna know what that is, you can let me know uh, by hitting that Patreon button. And maybe maybe I'll make a video on it or cover it in a future video, but it is kind of smaller, so I'm, I'm leaning away from that. Now, the week ahead, we have a lot of retail sales companies announcing earnings. For example, Lowe's, Dick Sporting Goods, Kohl's, Elf on a Shelf. Uh, we have Best Buy, Costco, Ulta. So a lot of companies that will probably give some indication as to how strong the consumer is, what are they expecting in the quarter moving forward, what have they seen already in the last two months because we are like two months in to this uh, quarter already, which is kind of crazy. And then we have some economic data. So we have the GDP second reading, maybe a revision on that. Initial jobless claims, pending home sales. So last month we had negative 5.2%. Seems like home purchases are moving up. Seems like the market's getting a little bit hotter. But if that comes in real low, that could be an indication that they have done enough with interest rates. We also have PCE and core PCE coming in Friday morning. So obviously that's the next step forward. That's the Fed's preferred inflation gauge. So if that comes in low, the markets are going to love that, obviously. Now, we've started to see inflation come down. The last couple months have been good. Core PC or core inflation seems to be stickier. But you can see on trueflation, this is the first time I remember us getting close to 3%. And trueflation basically takes a look at a lot of uh, places online and determines the true inflation rate that we're actually seeing, not looking at previous data. And now we're around 3%, which is much lower than what we've seen in the past. And we're starting to see things break as well. Treasury cash balance continues to drop. This is just from yesterday. It dropped uh, $11 billion in one day. So we're getting closer and closer to that red line that the Treasury likes to say above that $50 billion mark, down from $1 trillion basically a year ago. So the Fed debt ceiling uh, or the debt ceiling that the government's trying to vote on really needs to get passed quickly, obviously, to kind of bail out the treasury a bit. Now, last thing I really want to hit on is Ledger. Ledger CEO confirms that the government can subpoena them to get access to your funds. So I I have not confirmed that this is the person, but you know, no one's pointed out that this is not the actual uh, co-founder and former CEO. So clear it's not the ledger ceo it seems like it's a former ceo and they are saying yes the government could subpoena them to gain access to your funds if you use that new platform or that new um service that they're offering basically allowing you to gain access back to your keys so that's another reason why you might want to consider either just not using the service or maybe even moving away from ledger in general we know that their code is not completely open source compared to treasure which is so that can give you a little bit more a little bit more certainty with your crypto the last thing you'd want is for the government to finally flip the other way right they they're so anti-crypto but then they realize hey there's a lot of power in bitcoin we're gonna go and take some of it from individuals that have it and then the government takes some of your bitcoin that's the last thing you want. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys watching the video. Hit subscribe underneath. Very short video here. I'm going to do a video on some of my top takeaways from the Bitcoin conference and some of my thoughts. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.